Watch out for the locals in the cavern. Watch out up there. You seem to have a few of those issues oh. yourself. Oh, yeah, there's a... Uh... Oh, yeah, the skeletons skipped the farm. Got it. All right. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> good, good, good. Welcome. Welcome to the Goblin Empire. Yeah, I uh, I just about found the entrance. <laughs> and yeah, it's 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 looking a little bit more formal since last time I came here. This place is amazing. It's really, it's growing. I'm loving it. I'm working on a storage room right now and uh, it's growing. It's getting there. It's a little, it's a little noisy over here. The the farm's working away, <laughs> generating some cobblestone. So uh, yeah, not exactly. You walk the, on over here with me. Not quite the best place to do business, huh? So you are the man I want to see because I need, I, I think it'll go great with Gobland. It's bright giant neon light signs all over the place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got, got one over there, and I heard you got the frog lights. I, I I like the stone sign. I like less the fact that there's a creeper on top of there, but he despawned, so it's all good. Um, yes, yeah, I have yeah. I have plenty of frog lights for you, uh, and this is pretty much about half the stock I have on me. Ooh, so oh. I think we can hook you up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I'm looking right now to get about, I know, I, I've learned recently it's called ochre, not ochre. I've learned how to pronounce words. <laughs> the Grand Old Ochre. ochre frog lights. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, if I get like four stacks of those, three stacks of the pearl, and three stacks of the verdant. That seems pretty doable. Um, In exchange, I I need lots of stone, and you're definitely the guy to come to for that. So if you got if you got some stone handy, the the arrow in the, your head makes it look like you have a top knot right now. It's pretty stylish, actually. Yeah, it's it <laughs> just goes along with the ears. Uh -huh. So right now I've got all of this right. smelted down, ready to go. Okay, perfect. I've got ten double chests at least of cobblestone. Okay, okay. That I can smelt down too, if you'd like the stone, because I got the uh, furnace over there running. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, how about I leave you with like four shulker boxes for that amount of frog lights? I think that seems about fair. And if you can just fill those up with natural stone and drop them off at my place, that would be perfect. I, yeah, definitely. That sounds like a deal. Yeah, I tell you what, Um, uh, since I, I can't really, I can't shift these things. Have a, a free pet magma cube <laughs> with your, your purchase of the frog lights. Oh boy, oh, um, he's so cute. Yeah, there's there's a lot. I'll of, cherish him forever. <laughs> there's a lot more where that came from. So if you uh, if you find yourself <laughs> in need of a few more gremlins around the place, then uh, then oh, feel free. Uh, all gremlins are welcome within the cavern. Oh yeah, absolutely. It seems like gremlin town to me. So if I give mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. these four, and I tell you what, may as well may as well sweeten sweeten the deal if you wanna you wanna keep a couple of the the purple ones for yourself because oh thank you they're good for trading and i feel like yeah having a, a couple of extra shulkers lying around is always good for business well here's here's one back for you right now so you can at least not leave empty-handed yeah down payment i like it very cool thank you so yeah. much mm -hmm. i'll get i'll get the rest of those sorted and over to you here soon thank you so much fix yeah, and of course. uh should i just grab the frog lights out of that box or uh yeah yeah take them out of that one and i'll restock for the uh the sales box another time <laughs> oh perfect thank you thank you thank you oh this is gonna be so good Oh. <laughs> and there you oh, go. Look at that. Free achievement as the well. Power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you have fun with those. Oh, I'll replace the Nylium, which I'm apparently about to steal. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can't wait to see what this place looks like all lit up. I'm sure it's mm -hmm. going to be glorious. It's coming together. It's it's getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. All right. Well, all right, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Loreman. It's all good. I'm going to make the tradesman's exit. See you around. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, I hear, <laughs> I hear a voice. I'm coming. Where you at? I can't see you. This place is huge. <laughs> I'm even lost in my own empire. Hold on, I'm coming. Hello. Hello, hi, hi. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Sanctuary. Thank you so much. I've not been here before. This place looks awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. I've been expanding this place. We started with this little build right here, and now we've built all the stuff since then. Oh, I love it so much. It's so colorful everywhere. It's such a, a beautiful place. And what a location. Look at these mountains. Oh, yeah, this is my favorite spot. Where the second I saw this place, I knew this was going to be home. I Absolutely. Knew it, just with that little little calcite. And you know what? It's so sad, though. It's not, it's, I know that somebody's been robbing your calcite. <laughs> I heard about that. Uh, hopefully, they don't come over here. Yeah, I have plans. I have plans to deal with calcite <laughs> thieves. But um, yeah. I heard you were in the market for frog lights. 
Oh, yes, yes, because you know, you know what? I love this place. It's very colorful, and I need colorful lights. I don't want that glowstone thing. I don't mm -hmm. want anything else. I need those beautiful colors. Yes, Absolutely. Please. Yeah, well, uh, I just got done trading over at Goblin. Uh, these things are selling like hotcakes right now, so oh. I'm absolutely ready to hook you up. Uh, how much do you need? Because we have plenty of stock right now. <laughs> Oh, you know, just a stack of each will be perfect. I think we'll do just fine. Okay, that's amazing. That sounds great. Uh, I am doing a deal right now. It's a free pet magma cube with every purchase because oh, uh, I, yes. I ended up with a whole lot of those. Uh, they won't stop following me around, actually. So you can wear them on your head. Oh. Latest fashion accessory. Oh, this is perfect. This is not scary at all. No, let me take this out. I have, I have uh, really nice animals around here. Villagers, they'll see this and they'll be like, oh, what's happening? There's a place of peace. They don't you know, think I'm going to kill them or something. It's kind of like oh, you, you've been slimed in the meantime. But uh, yeah, oh, go. Yes. go Go ahead, take a stack of each. Uh, you're trading wood oh. this season, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come with me. Oh, this is all I wanted. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah, yes, Quip, Quip all was the powers pretty, combined. Pretty excited oh, about that Captain as well. Planet. Oh, yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, so let me oh, go yes. grab the me. end of the chest and, uh, yeah, show me to the wood house. Oh, yes. I got so much wood. I got every color right here. I've been collecting. So you can just go in there and just pick whatever you want. I tell you what, the one thing I don't have a whole lot of right now is warped wood. Because uh, I know it's a pain oh. in the butt to farm. But if you don't have a whole lot of that, I can always uh, grab a couple oh, of Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I have, unless someone came over here and took some, because this is like an open space. They could just come in here and take what they want. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole thing, right? It's like welcoming. Yeah. It's hospitable. Yeah, I like giving my, my wood to people. It's no big deal. <laughs> I do it all the time. I, I just passed by Scott a little while ago, and I gave him so much wood, he can't even, he doesn't even know what to do with it. <laughs> he can't handle it right now. All right. Yeah, he can't handle my wood. Scott's crazy. You oh, got here little... we go. Here we go. Do we have any here? Little... Oh, you know what? Enjoy. Take whatever you want. Oh, heck yeah. This little lumber yard is so great as well. This is oh, like, thank you. and you oh, managed to keep yeah. so much color in it as well. That's great. Yeah, it's like a little indoor outdoor feel. You know, mm -hmm. you can know, come in here and get, get your wood and feel at home. It's all peaceful. Yes. And then if you come in by a boat, you got this little little dockside area too. Oh, there's even a little so dock down access. there. Amazing. Yeah. 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 No. Little I, little baby dock. Uh, it's a it's a it's a long way. I don't think I can get here by just by boat, but I will. Uh, I'll definitely oh, no. sail on by at some point if I want to buy a little bit more. Um, I yeah, think I'm gonna. Know. I got plenty. I'm gonna grab some of the uh, dark oak. I could always use some oh, of yeah. that if there's some of that available. Yeah, oh, I'll take a couple of stacks. Don't worry about it. I've been I've been busy. I got all, the only thing I don't have a lot of because it just pains my soul to break it is that guy right there. But mm -hmm. you know I'll work on it. Yeah, yeah, no worries, <laughs> no worries, all good. Right, yeah, I've grabbed a couple of stacks. That's really all I'll need. And the frog lights, there's plenty more where that came from. So if you need oh, any more, nice. any thank point. you so much. Here and take some free mangrove uh, roots. <laughs> oh, I'm always in the market. Always free, in the market you know? for roots. Yeah, no, these these things actually genuinely work really well over in my ruins area. So, yeah, I'll, I'll grab those anytime. Oh, good, because I have so many I don't even know what to do with. I, I just want to give them away. <laughs> well, I mean... Plenty I'm, over here, too. I'm, I'm appreciating the gift. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah. Oh, no problem. Thank I, you. Oh, I, this place is going to be full of frog lights right now. I can't you wait watch. to see it. I can't wait to see it. All, all lit up and, and splendid. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a quick fly around and then uh, probably oh, yes. head on home. Do it, do it. Take, take in the sights. There's, there, oh, there's, there's stuff everywhere. You just watch this. There's little hidden Easter eggs everywhere. So I'm happy to report the frog light business is still going very, very well, and all of that stone is going to be put to good use, although not in this episode. There's going to be some secret stuff happening on the server here and there, and hopefully eventually soon you will get to see that. <laughs> eventually soon, one of the two. Anyway, today we're going to be working on a bit of stuff around the ruins here, because I haven't managed to build a huge amount of this stuff when I've been out there building stuff for other people, building stuff like the Great Bridge and everything, and I really want to move out of this room because I'm running out of ceiling space uh, sooner or later I'll have to expand upwards if I keep storing stuff in here but really I want to make things a bit more organized I want to set up a more permanent storage room and some folks in my comment section and in my twitch chat had the bright idea of building some sort of catacombs around here some place where maybe it's been a kind of uh, a mortuary it's been you know a tomb of some kind but in reality, in the way I'm going to be using it, we can maybe store some of our goods there. We can store some of the su supplies that we're going to be using to build stuff. And around here, there's actually a really neat dugout area of the terrain where this kind of leads into some 
pretty shallow caves. And I'm thinking, what if we repurpose this area as a kind of catacombs? Imagine that the people who have had this town have had to, you know, entomb people somewhere around here. And I think it'd be kind of central to the area. Maybe there's some like more important families who are buried here or something like that. Instead, though, we can use it as a place to lay out some chests. And I'll grab a couple of chests to do a quick example of how we can lay this out. So I'm thinking we need some stairs around here because stairs are going to be really good for kind of shelves and separating out the chests while still allowing you to open any chests that are below them. And let's maybe dig out this wall a little bit more just so we have a little space to work with. This is still pretty close to the surface, so this isn't necessarily where I'm going to be building this, but this is really just an example, right? So if we end up with a kind of shelf like this, maybe five wide, and then we can put chests on it, except we're not going to be putting chests this way round because the you know, the lock part at the front is going to be showing. Instead, we can reverse them and put them in from a different angle. So the chests are really going to be looking like this. They're going to be coming in from the back like that. And then when you combine the two of them, then they make something that looks a little bit more like a casket of some kind. Except, of course, that's going to be where we store all of our dirt and stone and that kind of stuff, right? Obviously, we can do the same from this side. All we need to do is hook the chests up together like that. And then in the center here, maybe we can have some kind of supporting pillar, a bit of stone brick, maybe some polished andesite. I feel like that'd look kind of snazzy. So you end up with chests like this lining the walls, and maybe some of them can be broken up, maybe some of them can be recessed a little bit so that we can end up with double chests and use the space more effectively. Yeah, perhaps we end up with something like this as potential other options as well. One of them has been pushed a little bit further back, but since there's no blocks above that, we can still open it. These two are large chests side by side so that you can't necessarily see the latch on the front but you can still access the materials as long as there's something like slabs or stairs over the top of it you can still open those up and then we can have a vaulted ceiling over the top of the entire thing but the challenge is going to be incorporating some redstone in here and there as well because ideally I would like this to be an upgrade to my storage system over there which means making sure that it's not all manually sorted storage I also want some areas where I can store certain resources in bulk so maybe this entire wall even though the chests are all in different places maybe that's all stone because once again I'll be needing a lot of stone for the various projects around the server but maybe we format things so that there's one room dedicated to all of the different types of stone blocks decorative stone stone brick and all of the other bits and pieces in between maybe there could be a treasure room for all of the more valuable stuff like gold diamonds and iron and that kind of stuff because of course throughout history people have been buried with their valuables there are you know traditions of that going back to ancient civilizations and I want to keep the storage fairly central I also don't want to go back and forth too much from the place I've got my existing storage set up to fill up this one so I'm thinking right here should be a good place for it and I want to decorate that on the surface with some kind of mausoleum looking thing just to imagine that there is some kind of surface set up here indicating that there is burial nearby and then when we go down into the structure itself it's the storage system for all of my blocks and stuff I think we can pull that off but once again we're not going to be doing that right here and I'll try and figure out what the entrance is going to look like but I think this is a good starting point so I'm going to do a lot of digging and hopefully we'll be able to hollow out an area down here that will be perfect for our storage room catacombs but in in the meantime, I want to do something about this. <laughs> because the rest of the calcite from this mountain that's been opposite my base since day one has been taken. It's all gone. And at this point, we know who's done that. And it's this guy, you know, the tall one. <laughs> this, this is Joel's base. You're probably fairly familiar with it at this point. And he has been using calcite somewhere where has he even been using it this is oh there's a little bit of it down there is that gonna be solid <laughs> has he made this out of solid calcite i'm trying to find where he's actually used it because he's taken all of the calcite and then has just like he's occasionally made stuff like this but you'd imagine he's building entire buildings out of calcite if he needs that much of it. There's a bit of it underneath here as well, underneath his sphere. And this place is called Stratos. So yes, that is the Stratos sphere. Very good, very clever. But seriously, how's he gone and torn apart basically the entire mountain opposite my base for just like the occasional calcite accent? This lot down here aren't using it either. But anyway, I think this is probably the building that has used it the most. There's a little bit on the inside as well. He's got a sugarcane farm in that lower part. And I think he's got his auto smelter up here. And there's a a little bit of calcite in the ceiling so I can kind of see where all of that's going but all of this calcite was part of the natural landscape around my area and it's been removed and I'm personally of the opinion that stuff like this really needs uh 
preservation. So I'm going to grab some resources and I will be right back. Well, I think this should get the message across. <laughs> it is unfortunately raining here in Stratos right now, but I think this is a pretty big statement. In fact, I, I would kind of love it, to be fair, because the connected glass kind of makes it so, from certain angles, you can't really see that there's a glass case around here. And I would personally love it if, if Joel ends up <laughs> flying towards this thing and just splatting his head against the side of it like a bird hitting a window <laughs> with his brand new wings and everything. Anyway, if he chances to look down, if he doesn't see the giant wooden base, he might at least have his eye drawn to these gold blocks, which are honestly part of this as part of like, you know, a, it's a gift as well as a prank in a way. If he takes down all of the glass from this, he'll get like three shulker boxes worth of glass, but he will have to break it all down block by block and there's no way to instamine glass, so good luck with that. But I figured just so we could sign our work here, I've noted that it is calcite taken from Pix's Mountain by Smallish Beans, July 2022, and hopefully that sends something of a message. <laughs> it has had the bonus effect of turning the bottom of this into a little bit of a mob farm. There's a bit of dark area underneath the island itself, which might spawn the occasional mob, and then of course, down here on the ground, there is not quite enough space for this to be completely a mob farm, and he's obviously taken some precautions in the surrounding area, lighting some stuff up. But, you know, the occasional zombie, the occasional creeper might end up directly underneath this thing, and that's that's his problem at this point and not mine. <laughs> but in the meantime, I have been on a bit of a quest to acquire some calcite of my own for a couple of things, and considering that there isn't really much calcite around my place anymore, and I didn't want to use that for a build anyway, I've been heading further out into the world to a couple of places that I have have far-flung nether portals just so that I'm not really disturbing anybody's backyard when I come to collect a little bit more calcite and we can always use some of that in this area to put that calcite vein back into the mountain so I kind of want to do that. It's pretty clear from the chunks that are left here where the calcite vein was so I think we're probably just going to try and put some of this back and woe betide Joel if he decides to come back here and try and claim any of this for himself. <laughs> So in the end, I got all the calcite put back in. <laughs> and hopefully, because that took a lot of calcite, hopefully nobody feels like coming through and nicking any more of it. But in the meantime, we've got a little bit of work done on the catacombs down here, and I think I'm probably going to pause it here for this episode, but I'll show you what I've done, and then I can get a little bit more done in between episodes here. I just want to get this one out because it's been too long. So down here in the caves, obviously we're going to have a more formal entrance to this in the near future, but we've got a little entrance lobby kind of foyer of sorts, I guess. Either way, we've got some way of having an entrance that's going to probably go left and right as well. Maybe it'll go to different places, but I wanted there to be a staircase down, some sort of little mosaic, which has maybe just been worn away over time. As you can see, the andesite here kind of means that the area here is like a little bit rough or well trodden. So maybe it's, you know, it's just kind of worn down over time, but we're going to have a couple more decorative blocks around here and the walls are going to change and stuff. What's the really important part though is down here, because as you can see to the left and to the right, we have 
a few of the little chest ideas that I mocked up out there by the entrance and I kind of like the way this came together starting to use a few more walls and stuff here and there and we might push some of the chests back so they're a bit more recessed in the alcoves instead of just being directly underneath these stairs and whatnot but I think overall they do a pretty good job of providing me with some storage chests out here so that they can be the miscellaneous storage chests so right now I'm using some of these for little like building supply chests and stuff like that whilst I work on the main event and I love the fact that I'm finally able to come up with a build that hanging roots look good in because I haven't really used those elsewhere since they've been a thing and I really do think they work quite well for this area. As though the roof here that's been made of wood has obviously been the first thing to deteriorate. The stone is fine, the stone will last for millennia but the uh, like the roof of this has kind of fallen in a little bit, let some of the dirt in, the dirt is kind of pushing downwards, the roots are here, there's a bit of packed mud in there as well. We could maybe hide some stuff up behind the trap doors, who knows, we can come up with some fun stuff like that. But as we go in here, a little skeleton skull because I've been getting those during thunderstorms with a channel trident in here is the main tomb or the tomb number one at least tomb number one is going to have all of the wood stuff in it so over here it's my usual kind of setup for the layout of everything we've got you know oak wood in there and then birch and then spruce jungle acacia dark oak and then the two nether woods and mangrove there and this one over here this little section over here is just going to be a bunch of the miscellaneous wood stuff like for example you know planks and stuff as it breaks down i think i'm probably going to do like oak birch spruce in this chest and then the next three wood types occupying these first few spaces in this chest and then you know we'll get into mangrove in the nether woods there and i think there's still some caves around here evidently because there's a few zombies and stuff around but what i decided to do with this whole setup which is not fully decorated but it's getting there is i wanted to have some kind of ledger or you know book to indicate where some of the uh, the, the supplies were but also to kind of imagine that this is a ledger that kind of keeps track of who is buried here if this is supposed to be like a mausoleum or a catacombs as some kind of family tomb or community tomb or something like that I guess it's a, it's a weird way of working it into the world but I kind of liked the vibe of it it was a good way of avoiding marking the chests the way I usually do either with blocks in the floor which would make this look really obviously like a storage system or with signs or item frames or stuff like that that could lag things out or maybe kind of you know wouldn't look as good as you know decoration for this place overall but what we're able to do with a lectern is have <laughs> kind of pun names that kind of point to which of the chests contain which stuff for example like on the left left one is mr oaksworth so that's the oak wood obviously the birches is pretty obvious but then g sprucington john glee that was one that my twitch chat came up with instead of jungle it's pretty bad and then uh, miss acacia bentley you know you get the idea and then obviously we've got a few others unnamed man for mangrove i suppose and then uh four through six on the right hand side these last few is miscellany but the cool thing about this is that we can give our lectern a second book. And when you turn the page in a lectern, of course, it emits a redstone signal very briefly, which means that I can install block swappers. And so if I turn it to the blank page two, pistons underneath each of these chests will pull some of the blocks back and these blocks will pop out of the bottom, which means that we can actually have it still coded like our storage systems elsewhere. Obviously, you can't push every single block in the game. So stuff like moss, for example, I don't know how I'm going to store that will think of something I'm sure and then grass blocks are probably going to turn into dirt underneath all of that but I feel like we can use that in some of the major tombs for specific types of resources like we can have the stone types and the mossy cobble and all of the other different types kind of arranged around the room like that then all we have to do is flip this back to page one which has the catalog of the catacombs but then all of this stuff gets pushed back into place and the floor is replaced by the stone bricks let's do that real quick so you can see all of the block swappers in action Action. I love that that looks so cool and finally they all get put back into place and the cool part about this is that having a little bit of mossy stone brick around kind of disguises the fact that these are sticky pistons because the slime on the sides of those blends into the moss quite well I think it's not perfect but it's close and you can kind of see down through some of those so you can see that there are redstone blocks underneath there you can see a little bit of the mechanism but as you're looking at it from the entrance here you kind of can't see that there's redstone there at all unless you're really looking for those sticky pistons. So I'm very happy with that. I thought that came together very, very well. It is pretty dimly lit in here because we're using soul lanterns and glow lichen for the majority of the lighting. I may even get rid of some of the lighting here where it's not necessary, but I wanted to make sure this was at least lit up so you folks could see it in the video. I could always adjust my gamma when I come down here if I need to, I suppose, but I do like having all of this a little bit darker 
but still mob proof thanks to the fact that mobs have to spawn in zero light as of 1.18. With a little bit more love and attention paid to the walls and the ceilings around here I think this place could look fantastic and of course I want it to have a pretty regular layout so that we can keep things organized and because a tomb like this would pretty much have to be fairly organized but there's a lot of detail we can pack into a space like this. I'm looking forward to it coming together but of course it's going to take a lot of work so I'm going to have to spend a lot of time working on this not to mention I need a design for the outside as well. So I'm going to be camping in my little hole in the wall for a little bit longer and hopefully we'll get some stuff figured out in between episodes and I'll be able to come back with a fully fledged storage system for you folks but for now that's where we're going to leave it for this episode of Empires. Thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and if you have don't forget to leave a like on the video for me. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you folks soon. Take care. Bye for now.